Welcome back to another episode of Open RCT2 Tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to deal with too many guests. Sometimes there's just too many peeps in the park and it's so popular they just keep on entering and you don't know what to do. So in this video, I'm going to discuss a number of different ways we can alleviate this issue because no one wants an overcrowded park. A number of my more mature parks have 8, 10, even 11,000 guests in them, and they all start complaining it's too crowded here. So for the purpose of this video, I'm going to open up the Soft Guest Cap plugin. If you don't have it, it's linked in the video description. But this plugin is showing us that the park is generating 3,400 peeps for the Soft Guest Cap, but we can see that there's over 6,800 guests already in the park, and more continue to enter. So if you want to know more about the mechanics of how the soft guest cap and guest generation works, Marcel Voss has a really great video, I'll link it in the description. But here we are, too many peeps, it's overcrowded, we're well above the soft guest cap, and so what can we do to get the peeps off of the paths so they stop complaining? Well, the easiest thing to do is to store them in a giant queue line. So here you can see this roller coaster has a very large queue line, which gets a lot of the peeps off the path and into the queue. And how do we keep them happy in such a large queue line? Well, we use the queue line TVs, as you can see here. So the peeps won't get tired of waiting in line because the queue line TV will keep them entertained and happy. I don't think you need it every single tile, I think every other tile is fine because the line will move and the peeps will always be moving in front of the queue line TV every so often, but if you want you can do it every single tile. But this is a great way to store the peeps in the queue line and keep them happy. So peeps in a queue line means less peeps on the path. Now there is an even simpler solution of simply just closing the park, and this will stop any new guests from entering the park. So very simple, they'll just be turned away at the gate, however there is a downside because guests already in your park will leave immediately if they happen to wander into the entrance building. So they will just start leaving the park, and you can have a steep decline in guests, so if that's not something you want, this might not be the best solution. But there's another option. Now this is probably a fan favorite, but we can actually just put an exit building over the water and open this ride and the peeps will simply drown. And now we solve our overcrowding issue by just killing off all of the peeps. The downside is you are going to have a steep drop off in your park rating. So you will watch it soon plummet to about zero. So this is not a viable long-term solution, but is a fun solution if you're diabolical. Now a more humane solution is to build the land up in front of the exit building, and if we make the walls see-through, we can see that the guests simply walk into the land and just plummet into the void and disappear. So it's a humane way of euthanizing your guests, and it won't affect your park rating. However, in the long term, your guest count will slowly decline, so this isn't a viable long-term solution, but it is a humane one. Now for parks that use money, we can use the ATM machine to control the guest count. When guests say I'm running out of cash, they will head for the nearest ATM, so if we simply close or remove the ATM, then guests running out of cash will have no way to procure any more money and eventually leave the park, because they won't have any more money to spend on rides or food and drink when they're hungry and thirsty, so they will head for the exit. So this is a way to stop your guest count from ballooning slowly but surely into the thousands and thousands, because guests will leave when they run out of cash. Another option to control the guest count is to use the scenario options. So under scenario options, we can select the peep icon here and then check the guests are more difficult to attract. And this will affect the soft guest cap by reducing it significantly. So using the plugin, we can see the soft guest cap is about 3000. And that is because the scenario option here is significantly reducing it with that guests are more difficult to attract. If we turn it off, the soft guest cap will actually bounce back up to about 5,000. So you can see there's 8,000 people in this park, soft guest cap is at 5,000, but if we turn on the scenario option of guests are more difficult to attract, it reduces the soft guest cap to about 3,000 something. So with that turned on, you can see that no new guests are entering the park because we are well above the soft guest cap. However, you can use marketing campaigns to generate guests. Advertisements will always generate guests, even if you have guests are more difficult to attract. Now, if I use the cheats and remove all of the guests, our 
guest count will be zero, which is below the soft guest cap. So guests will continue to generate, even though they're more difficult to attract, it's below the soft guest count, so they will still be generated. Now for my final solution to our overcrowding problem, we're gonna reopen the scenario options and look at the cash per guest. The average is $65, which means each guest will have either the average at 65 or minus 10, plus 10, or plus $20. So here you can see these peeps have $85, $65, and then here's a few more with 55 and then $75 in their pocket. So we can use the admission price to control which guests can enter the park. So right now the price is $50, which means Chloe spent 50, she's got $5 left, she'll eventually head for an ATM, but let's raise the admission price to $65, which will prevent those that have $55 in their pocket from entering. So here we can see Claire has $55, so she will be turned away at the entrance. Sorry, Claire. So now if we raise it to $75, this will only allow those with $75 and $85 in their pocket to enter. So we're effectively reducing the pool of guests that can enter the park. So it's an effective way to really control how many guests you want in your park. So if we go all the way up to $85, that will keep all of the guests except for the highest earners from entering. And once they enter, they'll immediately look for the ATM. So here, Kurt enters the park and he's heading for the entrance ATM, which is right there and he is going to pull out some cash because he had no money when he entered because he spent 85 to get in and then had zero upon entering. Now he has $50 in his pocket from the ATM. So we're effectively using capitalism to control the guests in our park. So to recap, to reduce overcrowding, you can create long queues with QTVs to keep guests off your paths. To reduce guests, you can close the park, drown them, or drop them into the void. You can also remove ATMs to force guests to leave when they run out of money. And you can use the scenario options to make guests more difficult to attract. Or you can raise the entrance price to keep out the pores. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. And if you enjoy the video, please give it a like or consider becoming a YouTube or Patreon member. It really helps out the channel. And also check out my RCT2 swag. It's linked in the video description. And as always, make sure to subscribe because next time I'm gonna show you how to build your very own rotor. So stay tuned for more.